Uh, let's do two more comments. Woo! You came back. A relentless machine set in combat mode. The service turned you into a product that turns ordinary men into killing appliances if you can't manage the difference between reality and memory. You see yourself tainted with stains that soap can't wash clean and you're too scared to touch the women in your life with such dirty hands and too proud to admit your polluted grass. You fought for a government that had taken your souls and traded it for medals, parades, blood, sweat, weeping mothers, sisters, daughters, and lovers. A priority is full of vanity, glamour, and pop culture. Living or dying was not a matter of question. It was only to serve in this brotherhood of Uncle Sam's misguided childhood. You have been conformed into a product of nightmares, flashbacks, and triggers, which is a direct post-traumatic stress disorder. I've seen you watch others in their daily lives have conversations with civilians and not see them eye to eye because that 2020 vision of yours is lost in the wasteland of sand. Sand, bullets, and explosion. Watching this on my reality TV show, I have this to say. Give us back our men. Give us back our men who have taken away and washed away their mind with combat detergent. Only returning toy soldiers into our homes where every day was a rerun of a child playing G.I. Joes, but with real guns and real grenades exploding memories into their hands. We prayed for them to come home with the same spirit, same touch, and calming voice, but instead you brought us walking ashes with shaky hands and raspy voices, and now my tongue is doused with gasoline, ready to light this match because I had to watch my every step and walk on broken mirrors that were shattered with his reflection, trying to feel the vacant void in his eyes of all of my love, which I hoped would have been enough, but because of the detriment you gave him, he pushed me away. Because he believed that he didn't deserve any type of joy, which is just one sacrifice you assimilated into his daily lives. Give us back our fathers, sons, brothers, and lovers, because after they're done working for you, we have to put them back together. And they're not easy to reassemble to our men who walk the wasteland of sand, snow, in the deepest part of the jungle, only to, re only to return with partial pieces of your soul. We still love you. Know that you deserve happiness. That your everyday life should not be filled with sorrow, anger, or shame. Come home. I say this not to the hollow man that is walking away from me. I say this to the spirit that's far away and far away, it's just too far away, so come home. Calm yourself with the water that the women who love you set in front of you. Breathe in the air and exhale all those toxins of gunpowder, explosive residue, and stop wandering. This is where you'll find the strength again. In the arms where you're always safe. Okay, I'm gonna do one more piece, somewhat of a love poem, somewhat of a love poem.